Most people living in urban centers have access to information, communication technology, and service providers do not extend these services to outlaying areas, which they see as not economically viable. In the Kavango West region, there are vast areas where the network coverage is very poor or non-existent, and people living there feel left out. They cannot communicate to others, neither do they have radio reception. Joseph Sikongo is the chairperson of the Kavango West Regional Council and he wants a platform to be created where leaders can easily convey information to people living in rural areas. NBC can be heard to Vinduk and other areas, but within the, our setup, areas like Bravo, Mangeti, this, uh, it's, it's, it's strange for them to listen to NBC Radio Wato. But although it's called Z20, it's ours, but for them it's not theirs because they don't hear. Uh, they, don't, uh, they are not connected. Uh, the same is applicable to MTC. In his response, the minister assured the council that the familiarization visit had been conducted to all areas where information technology infrastructure is poor. And, and, and as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. Uh, I don't have uh, five years. This thing must happen now. And this would happen not until the economy improves. I want it happen now while we have this situation. It's only when we have this situation improved that we will at least inform the people so that they don't get too panic. <laughs> and say, so, well, there is no hope. The, you know, the whole economy has collapsed because they don't have the information to help them and say, no, it has not collapsed. Toya further called on the IT companies to learn to share network towers for all Namibians to benefit.